I want us to uh, build a world where borders will not be an excuse for impunity and where everyone knows that accountability for international crimes is inevitable. Additional challenge are proper tools for cooperation because we, if we don't have proper tools to cooperate among states, it's very hard to have successful cases because the perpetrator might be in one state, evidences might be in, in another one, crime base is in a third, and witnesses and victims might be in the fifth. If you don't put together, it will be hard to have a successful case. We had thousands of exhibits, we had hundreds of witnesses. We had to make sure that victims were heard and heard well um, and respected. Um, but I think within a few years, we came up with a very manageable process that allowed us to complete these cases both efficiently and effectively. An independent evaluation of the DRC Mobile Court showed that domestic, cor domestic courts can effectively complement the role of the ICC in combating international crimes. In the Fiji rape trials, not only was the Congolese government willing to prosecute, it was able to do so in a way that met fair trial standards. NGOs have been an indispensable player since the very beginning of the negotiations. So on, on the ICC statute, which probably would not have been adopted without the persistent advocacy of civil society.